mother and her deadly fall from a roller coaster in Texas. Her family on the ride with her, and tonight her heartbroken son is now weighing in on the accident. ABC's Clayton Sandell is in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, a search for answers about how a day at this Texas amusement park turned deadly. At Six Flags Over Texas Friday, Rosie Esparza was riding the Texas Giant for the first time when she fell to her death. Her son was on the ride too. And he was like, let me down there. I need to go down there and find my mom. On Facebook, Amato Esparza calls losing his mother a nightmare. <laughs> Inspections for amusement park rides vary state to state. And with no sign of foul play, in Texas, it's up to Six Flags to get to the bottom of Rosie Esparza's death. Some safety experts want independent investigations. So that we will know the true findings and not just what the people who are handling the investigations want us to know. Carmen Brown says she heard Esparza tell an employee before the ride her safety harness might not be secure. She was no bigger than I was, like that could have been me. Still, the amusement park industry insists its rides are safe. The chance of being killed, one in 750 million. Today, Six Flags again said it would not speculate on what caused Rosie Esparza's death, but with no independent investigation, the company is essentially investigating itself.